Can you see that? My cheekbones are screaming. The best lip kit I have ever tried, you know? Don't really like it. Cause I'm not just a pretty girl. Second Zoella video in one week. What is going on? But Zoella did release two lots of ranges. So I am so excited to be unboxing the one by Colourpop today. I did go on a little bit of a splurge and I did treat myself to the PR package. Now I believe that it pretty much has everything from the Zoella Colourpop range in size, but we'll find out in a second. But it cost me $89 and the shipping, international shipping, was free of charge, which I thought was a really nice touch. So it was free of charge for everyone who ordered within two days, I believe, of the launch date, which was back in February. So I ordered 6 p.m. on the day. So I was probably one of the first to get their orders in. So the shipping itself did take a while to come. So I've waited exactly one month to get my package. So I do completely understand it's coming from the US. Um, but every time I've ordered a, a package from the US, it usually comes within two weeks or so. Um, I just think that the time on the shipping was just too much. I actually almost cancelled my order. Uh, so a little bit of feedback for next time. I just think they need to sort out maybe a distribution centre in the UK and then do it. So I just went and grabbed my diary because I did some working out. So if you were to get this um, package individually, so the bag and all the products inside, it would cost you $92.50. So there's actually only a $3.50 saving if you get the PR package. Before I jump into the video, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. I always like to do a good Zoella review, so if you wanna see future videos, subscribe, turn on notifications, because you will never, ever miss a video. First of all, I really like this bag. I really like the concept. I don't think anyone's really done a brunching theme. On appearance, looks great. Packaging, the bag feels good quality and it keeps all the products safe inside. And what a great bag to take travel in, to put on the plane. 100% will be doing that when I next go away. I'm gonna start with this product here. So this is the Zoella Supernova Shadow Bundle. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. They're very similar to one another. I'd say this one was more of a rose gold shimmer color, whereas this one on the left is definitely more of a champagne tone. I've just checked on my phone. If you want this bundle together, it is $14, but separately they cost $7 each. Okay, I'm definitely gonna use the pinker tone just to see what it's like. Okay, so it almost looks a little bit like a lipstick, but it isn't. Application, it's really creamy and you can definitely see that color. I'm just gonna whack this on to see what I think. Oh, it's really cold. With these kind of products, I like to see if it creases. Um, a lot of these kind of products do. Um, I don't really like it. A little product goes a very long way. So on the left hand side, I did swatch it on my hand before applying and it went on more natural. So if you want a natural tone, maybe do something like that. But alternatively, just pop some on and then just blend it with your finger. Oh yeah, I like that technique. Not sure if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna zoom you in. Okay, I think you guys can see better now. What do we think? I would say that this product is a very much on the go item. You just pop it on and it's done. Um, I'm gonna look at the other shade just to see if there's any difference. There is the tiniest difference in color. Yeah, I, I like that. I love the Bellini OG. On to my favorite kind of products, which is lip. So. We have three bundles here. I absolutely love that they're very much Kylie Jenner inspired. So inside you've got a lip pencil and then you've got a lip product. So I've got three here. So I've got the At Me Ultra Matte Lipstick and um, Oh Snap Lippy Pencil. So let's take a look at this one first. This one is a beautiful dusty rose shade. That is, as you guys know, one of my favorite ever shades to get. Lip pencil is going on great. Okay, moment of truth. I like that a lot. It just feels like a really decent matte lipstick. Do you know what? The finish feels very similar 
to my Huda Beauty one, which I wear every single day. I am a huge fan of that one. I think that's a great product. How much is she charging for the lip kits? $11.50, I think that's 100% worth the money. On to the next one, which is my day one's lip bundle. So this has got little one ultra matte lipstick inside and little one lippy pencil. Oh yes, I really like that color. So it is different from the other one. Let me just show you. As you can see, the one on the left is much pinker than this one. I'm gonna pop this on the back of my hand and test it out. So creamy, again, that is very similar to my Huda Beauty one. Lip pencil also is identical to the color and it went on really buttery. On to the last one, which is Give Us The Goss Lip Bundle. So this one has Self Love Club Ultra Matte Lipstick inside and Bossy Lip Pencil. Again, this is 11 dollars 50 for the kit. It's completely a different shade, which I was getting a little bit worried because the other two were very similar, but they were different. But I just love that they popped in a completely different shade. And also it matches the lip liner, which is great. I'd actually have to say that this is probably the best lip kit I have ever tried, you know? Apart from Kylie Jenner, because like she is like the guru when it comes to lip kits, but this is, is very good. On to probably one of the most talked about products out of the range, I think, and it's the Swipe Right Press Powder Cheek Blush Powder. I'm very excited to see this because there's been a lot of noise online. So this costs $8. Again, I really like the packaging. Just look at that. It's got a little Suella Heart logo. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be like more of a NARS orgasm color. Wait, is it a blush? I've completely got the wrong way. So this is the blush, which I've not opened. This is the highlighter. Completely makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna test it out. Wow, it's very creamy to touch. I've just swatched it on my hand. Um, I wouldn't say it was like, a Jeffree Star highlighter. I consider a Jeffree ha Star highlighter to be one of the best um, in appearance. I'd say that this one wasn't as glowy. It's got more of a natural shimmer finish. Yeah, shimmer, let me start again. Natural shimmer finish. Let's give it a go though. Ooh, oh my Lord. I am completely glowing. Can you see that? My cheekbones are screaming. Well, I am very impressed with that one. Let's give the blusher a go. I think the blusher is $8 too. Wait, is the highlighter $8? Because I, because I got the wrong way around. Yep, they're both $8, okay. So the blush is called Soulmate. <gasps> That's more like it. It's definitely a blush color. So with this one, it doesn't have a shimmer tone in it. It's very much a matte color. Again, not dusty. There is no dust coming off that. I've just duped that twice on my wrist and it's not like, it's not the most darkest blusher in the world, but you can definitely build it up if you want it to be like really rosy pink. Let's try it. Do you know what? I've just popped some on top of the highlighter and it looks pretty smart. If you want it to look a little bit like NARS Orgasm, then just put the highlighter underneath and pop the blush on top. For me, this is a really nice blush color. I really like it. Up next, we've got two gel liners. So these are $5 each. So we've got the shade 0X0X or XOXO or OXO. That's really confusing, but it's probably XOXO. I had it the wrong way around. And I have the Sincerely Yours. So let's try the XOXO one. By the way, all of these are cruelty free. I've just seen the little bunny on there. Love that. Oh, these are twisty up ones. I really like a twist up liner. So this one is a black shade. Wow. Didn't have to press that hard for that. Within the actual product, it looks like there's a slight shimmer, but not glitter. And I don't really see it as much on my hand. Oh, I can actually, just, just ever so slightly. This next one I am very much interested in because 
I prefer a brown eyeliner um, over black. I know Zoella does as well. So this is the Sincerely Yours one. Oh my God, I love that so much. I'm gonna play it and see what I think. Yeah, that's not bad. Does the job. Right now, there's actually nothing I can say bad about this range. I really think for the price and the product you get, it's 100% worth the money. Now onto the final product, which is Brunch Date, which is the eyeshadow palette. I've seen very weird reviews online, like someone was saying, oh, it's too beige. But the thing is, it's like with a Naked palette by Urban Decay, each palette has like a color theme. So the answer to that is if you don't really like nudey, smoky, beige, brown colors, don't buy this palette. I personally love these colors, they're very me. I'm very much into the beiges, the browns, the smoky colors, and the rose golds, and this is just, oh my God, so me. All in all, we've got 12 different colors. There's about six matte colors and six shimmers, so a very nice balance. It's very blendable, which I really like. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna swatch some colors on my wrist just to see the full color. Again, I am so impressed. Hang on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you my wrist. Can I show you my wrist? Anyway, I'll pop in a overlay, but I, I'm in love. I, I'm so speechless. Like, again, the palette wasn't dusty. Like, when I've popped it onto my brush, it didn't dust, which I absolutely hate about eyeshadows. Pigmentation was great. In one swipe, a really good color came out. I think a good two dupes is when you get the true color. That's how I, that's partially how I think. Okay, this is the finished look. I know it's quite natural, but I really like the products itself. Like the lips don't feel dry. My eyelids don't feel like they're gonna crack off. The pigmentation of the color is just beautiful. I'm completely speechless. I thought there'd be at least like one thing wrong with it, but I think this is a very strong range. So that is everything from the Zoella Colourpop range. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a very honest review. Um, I want to be very fair when I give my opinion because I know you guys will be spending the money, but I 100% that this range is definitely worth the money. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications because I do these kind of videos all of the time. Video link to my other so where the review, which was her new fruits collection, I'll leave the link to that down in the description and I'll leave a card somewhere around here. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.